Hello and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga. So yeah, today I'm going to show my haul with you guys, the orchids that I did found at Landsbergen. I hope you enjoyed that uh, video. Um, like I said, it was really, really special in that video. But uh, the first time for me ever that I visit a orchid nursery and I thought, well, at least once in my life I need to visit a uh, serious orchid nursery. Yeah, as you probably have seen already but so so many plants so but yeah okay my haul I have them all um, stalled out here around me they need to find their uh, place but I thought this is a nice opportunity to do uh, a video about them so we're gonna start here at this beauty I really love the color of this one it's a bit of orange rusty orange color I have absolutely no idea what what orchid this is it I, yeah if i remember correctly they only had hybrids at the moment i if i'm correct i'm not completely sure anymore but uh but yeah the spike is fairly long and this is the orchid itself so yeah probably a sort of odontoglossum type orchid but i have no idea if you recognize it of course let me know and that uh Counts for all of them. So, so that was uh, is the first uh, beauty, and then we have this one, the dark red color, and there was a fly, uh, dark red color with with a yellow lip, bit of orange there, beautiful. Same story, no idea. I, I do. Um, I think I have only one tag. But anyhow, this one is. Fairly familiar, so I probably could find an ID. I didn't look it up yet. But also a beauty. Such vibrant colors, this one. And a beautiful spike to come here. Or to, to, to start blooming. But beautiful. So those, I think those were my odontoglossum types. Three of them. Then I have here. A beautiful Miltoniopsis. I'm not sure if I already have this one. So the rest of the Miltoniopsis I already have in my collection. So, But I thought, well, I'm going to buy this because I'm not sure and I really, really like it. But I think I have it. And mine is recovering. Doing well, but yeah, beautiful. And then next to it we have my first slipper orchid. I never had a slipper orchid before, and such a beautiful one. And next to it we have a Masdevelia hybrid, orange one. Also a beautiful plant. And then let's go this size. This is the one with the largest blooms. It is absolutely amazing. This one, this one was the first one that I saw, and I just, I was uh, in love straight away. So yeah, I thought um, I need to have this one. It's such a beauty, and very, very fragrant. But trinormous blooms. If you look next to it, my next find, that's more a regular size bloom of a cattleya. So yeah, that that one on the left is very large. I really like this one because it's white and has a yellow lip and I always enjoy the combination of white and yellow. So two, as you can see, very large Cattleyas. I have quite some Cattleyas uh, bought this year for in my collection but not. I couldn't find the very big ones. Well those <laughs> were there. And also you guys, um, these plants cost me around eight or nine euros per plant I had some discount on the end so if I uh, did uh, calculate it right and I did but I uh, yeah I, I, it basically means that that these plants uh, cost me around uh, like I said eight or nine euros per plant and look what you get for that price so yeah that was very very cheap so I I, I had to buy, buy them <laughs> Next to it we have one in Bath. This is my surprise orchid. I found it quite funny. I have no idea 
how the blooms will look like but I really uh, like the plant and really like the buds, the very promising buds probably a red or uh, purple one I think but uh, yeah that's my surprise orchid then we have this one, this one is a white one with a purple lip fairly large blooms as well and I found one in bud so this one is opening up but I uh, saw one completely open and really beautiful like I said fairly big blooms again and this is the plant here in the back so also a very large scatelea and so cheap 8 9 euros it's, it's almost ridiculous <laughs> but I was very happy I'm not complaining not complaining very beautiful then we have this beautiful yellow one it's a bit a little bit stuck there as you can see so it's not opening up completely well because of that I think but a beautiful yellow one with a little hint of orange there in the lip it's such a beauty as well and then we have another cattleya here this is a nice bush of canes a lot of canes but a smaller one as you can see and most of the times I, f I, I look at the blooms and I buy them online and the size of the cat lace is around this side but I really enjoy those very very big ones so I was so happy to find them but this one I couldn't resist of the colors of the blooms and the shape of course but that deep purple and my camera I don't think it's uh, showing the right color I probably have a picture with a better more accurate color but as I can see it now it's it's not not showing you the right color it's a very deep deep purple beautiful and those blooms are thinking I think going over but a lot of canes here maybe two plants in one but I have no idea but it's beautiful and above that one we have a no idea but fairly large bloom bit of a strange uh, shape bloom white with yellow there was a right, uh, red one I'm sorry but I didn't uh, buy it and now well I thought I could have bought it as well but I had so many plant, bought so many plants already so I left it there and that's okay and it has two more spikes so three spikes in total but yeah I have no idea what f what type of orchid this is it's a beautiful one I have to look it up and I just didn't do it but if you recognize it or you have any ideas please let me know but that spike beautiful and that bloom very very beautiful so yeah here they are just uh, acclimating to my climate and me uh, meanwhile enjoying them and the other three are there oh and almost forget I have a, found a Tolumnia as well it's this one here with those beautiful dark red blooms with a little bit of yellow I think recently uh, Roger did show, uh, show the same one bloody red called I think this one is officially a no idea but it looks to me very similar but so so beautiful that deep red color my camera is not focusing very well I'm sorry but such a beautiful plant with quite some uh, roots I'm sorry the backlight is a little bit uh, hard but uh, and it's on a mount but I will uh, put it in a terracotta pot, a little terracotta pot my Tolumnias do very well in that system so yeah 14 new plants and there they are and uh, there were even more uh, of those big cut layers but I thought yeah I'm, I'm going to stick with these guys uh, for now, of these girls actually I think but uh, <laughs> doesn't matter much but look so many blooms on this spike such a big spike beautiful beautiful and yeah I, one more time only eight or nine euros per plant so that's almost ridiculous but I'm so so happy and ridiculous in a most positive way of course so yeah I was so happy I had a beautiful beautiful day it was well worth the drive and um, have a look behind the scenes in the Arcot nursery yeah, it was fantastic very very nice people and uh, yeah I really enjoyed it so maybe this will be uh, we can do a 
one trip every year, something like that. That would be amazing, I think. Yes. So this is it, you guys. And as usual, if you have any questions or suggestions, or maybe you did recognize uh, a few plants or one plant, and you have an idea, if you have any kind of idea in which area I have to look for this one, please let me know. And uh, I will have a look at it, of course. And otherwise, I make uh, what I need to, to give them a uh, sort of idea. I will make up a name for uh, in my notes. But uh, yeah, if like I said, if you know something about these plants, name wise, please let me let me know. For now, um, thank you for watching. I really hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, this video. I will do soon uh, some reports on them. And I don't know if you wanna me do all kind of reports or not. I uh, uh, if I yeah, please let me know if you if you like. I'm sorry, <laughs> but um, and otherwise I will film a few of them because there's quite a long. Uh, quite a few of them it will be a fairly long video but uh, yeah I think that's nice so that's one is uh, to come but for now I just want to enjoy the blooms a bit longer and the fragrance is fantastic those Cattleyas all of them have a fragrance as well and of course the Miltoniopsis has a fragrance so yeah beautiful okay thank you for watching and hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye